How would you like to own a car so rare and so customized that the very name is chosen by the customer? That's the proposal made by Naran Automotive, a new London-based hypercar manufacturer bringing the latest competition to top-tier brands like Koenigsegg and Pagani. Naran's first model is something they refer to as a hypercoupe, a four-seater luxury race car with equal amounts of raw power and comfort. This exceptional idea was invented by brand founder Amir Naran, who created the company to build the perfect dream car that he couldn't find anywhere else. My plan is to go down um, in the annals of history of having created the ultimate um, automotive experience. Amir dabbled in motorsports when he was younger and eventually went on to found an extremely successful private jet venture. This experience equips him with some of the best industry knowledge to put together the ultimate hypercar building team on the planet. The exterior of Naran's crowning masterpiece was drawn up by Joanne Wong, who's worked on other notable hypercars like the Apollo IE and the De Tomaso P72. The front bumper is defined by an aggressive beak designed to slice through the air and help the car produce over 3,000 pounds of downforce. Of course, there's also a massive intake to feed the front mid-engine V8, as well as a set of highly detailed crystal headlights. The side profile has a similar shape to the BMW M8 that the Neuron is based on, with shapely door curves and a contrasting strake cutting through it all. Here, we can really see the copper-colored trim pieces slice through the rest of the design and stand out, as well as the color-matched hybrid carbon wheels. The back is highlighted by an eye-catching wing bigger than my dinner table and a diffuser that overrides nearly every other element. It's finished off with a simple LED taillight strip and a set of form-fitted exhaust tips. Overall, I think this exterior does an incredibly efficient job of conveying the Neuron's luxury race car character, and it's a much simpler package than what's often seen on cars from Koenigsegg and Pagani. Now, sadly, there aren't too many interior details revealed yet, but we do know that former Aston Martin designer Kate Montgomery was hired to oversee the production of a perfect interior to complement the Neuron's exterior. It'll likely feature Recaro performance seats, carbon fiber, and just as much customization as the rest of the Hypercoupe offers. Amir's previous experience in the private jet industry means we could also see exotic designs and materials, such as wood and marble, creating a lavish, comfortable environment. And best of all, it will seat up to four, so you can even bring passengers on your trip around the Nürburgring. I personally have been really fortunate in that I've been able to drive and or own most supercars and hypercars out there. And the one thing I felt was lacking was um, the ability to take your loved ones with you. From personal experience, you know, when it, whenever I've, I've, I've owned a car within, you know, within the first few months or so, you get a real thrill out of driving it yourself and then you want to share it with the people who are close to you. And with most cars or hypercars being, you know, two seaters, I felt there was a market out there for a really aggressive, high-performance car um, that accommodated four passengers, um, which has brought us to where we are. Um, we're looking at being the, you know, a, a proper hardcore street legal GT3 race car that's been made street legal and um, can accommodate four people. So you know, you can take three of your friends or loved ones along with you for the ride. Speaking of the Nürburgring and racetracks and how the Neuron performs, we've taken a decent look at the stunning design as well as the luxurious interior, but now it's time to discuss the performance. Both the Neuron's frame and engine are derived from the M8. BMW's 600 horsepower V8 Grand Tourer has been bored out to 5 liters and given larger turbos by Racing Dynamics in Germany. Now, it produces over 1,000 horsepower on the dyno and nearly 750 pound-feet of torque. The 8-speed automatic transmission gets reinforced as well, and the unique all-wheel drive system offers drivers the option to use rear-wheel power only. A series of 3D renders reveal a complicated braking system comprised of carbon fiber cooling ducts, which Neuron says will help improve both the performance and life expectancy of the 390mm carbon ceramic performance discs. Here we can also see the double wishbone suspension arms that will help keep the Neuron planted around corners. The overall setup was inspired by GT3 performance cars, so no doubt it will fit right in on any track. 
The final estimated performance numbers, 0 to 60 in less than 2.3 seconds and a top speed over 230 miles an hour. This places Neuron securely in the ranks of hypercar titans like Pagani, Koenigsegg, and Bugatti. The starting price will likely be in line with these brands as well, meaning it could cost well into the seven digit figures. And then you get to a tier which is a little bit more special and rarefied, um, where generally the costs are over a over million dollars per vehicle. Um, performance output is normally over a thousand horsepower. And that pushes you up into the hypercar league. The, the, you know, our competing brands in the hypercar league are Bugatti, Pagani, and Koenigsegg. And we, we plan to be the fourth well-established hypercar manufacturer with um, this car being our first entry. 49 production models are expected to be built when the design and test process is completed. And every single one of those 49 cars will be perfectly tailored to exactly what the customer desires. From the exterior paint and trim to the interior materials, and yes, even the name of the car. Our cars are very personalized to each customer, so much so that we don't even have a model designation for the vehicle. Um, that's um, designated by, by the customer. So the brand name is Narin, and the customer will name the model as they wish. The customization options are infinite. And personally, I think this is one of the biggest selling points for Neuron. There's no established model name, and owners are left to decide what they feel best fits their unique build. Let me know down in the comment section below what the perfect name and design for your Neuron would be. Personally, I'd love to own a gloss black model with sky blue carbon fiber accents and the same wheels as Alfa Romeo's Giulia GTA. You could call this spec Neuron Quick Shift. Now, of course, the Neuron is still in its research and development stage, but the company is accepting order applications and production is expected to begin shortly. Thereafter, we plan to, to, to launch a convertible version, um, a version with a 6-litre V12, uh, an off-road version. Uh, and then we're follow, following that, um, we, we will have um, a completely new platform for, for the next series of 108 cars. A rolling concept has already been assembled which shows off a real-world example of the design elements previously discussed. And I think if the final road model looks anything like the prototype, Neuron could definitely offer some serious competition as the world's first hypercoupe. To learn more about exotic performance cars from around the world that you may not have heard of, check out the playlist on the screen now. And hit the subscribe button so you can watch future uploads as well. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.